Unpacking and Assembly Unpack the package and take out the instrument and all other necessary components for installation. Place the instrument on a stable table. Screw off the black shipping screw on the back of the instrument and put it away. Install the touch display screen on the left side of the instrument. Connect the data cable to the jack on the back of the instrument and screw up the connector. Install the Wi-Fi antenna on the back of the instrument and screw up the connector. Take out the keyboard and mouse assembly and install the keyboard battery. Install the power cord on the instrument and connect it to the external power supply. Power on. Turn on the power switch on the back of the detector and the boot screen will be displayed when the touch screen lights up. Enter the user login password, SinoCare. The system will run a self-check after being started and you may proceed with testing after the end of the self-check. Testing Operation Step 1 Clean and Make Disinfection Clean the chin rest and forehead or use a disposable isolating membrane. Testing Operation Step 2 Confirm the applicability to the subject. Ask to confirm that the subject presents with naked eyes. Confirm that the subject hasn't taken any operations on her or his left eye, suffered no cataract, and recently received no treatment. Refer to the requirements on testing objects for details. People who do not meet the testing requirements are not advisable to take the test. Testing Operation Step 3 Create a health file Click the new patient. Enter the personal information of the subject and the tester. After confirming the above information, click Save. Then click Run Test Testing Operation Step 4 Try to persuade the subject. Inform the subject to take the following precautions during the test. Look at the upper right corner of the testing area with your left eye and make sure to see the complete red concentric ring as shown in the figure. Sit up straight when facing the front, with the head undeflected and fitting the chin and forehead rest naturally. Testing Operation Step 5 Use the instrument to do testing. Adjust the lifting table to a proper height so that the subject's head stays as parallel as possible to the testing area. Ask the subject to place her or his chin on the front half of the chin rest and her or his forehead on the forehead rest. Ensure that the pupil image is clearly displayed on the display screen. If not, slowly adjust the forehead rest back and forth. Adjust the testing position. Click the four arrow buttons for up, down, left, and right on the screen to adjust the position of the chin rest and the eye cup until the pupil view is clearly displayed on the screen. And then adjust and place the red symbol X into the small yellow circle. Ask the subject if he or she sees a red concentric ring. If yes, follow the steps below to continue with testing. If not, ask the subject in which direction to adjust until he or she sees a complete red concentric ring. Preparation before testing. Ask the subject to close her or his eyes and rest for a while. Ask the subject to keep staring at the red concentric ring during the test. Don't look at the blue light and hold on, no blinking your eyes for six seconds. Don't turn your eyes. Start testing. Tell the subject to open her or his eyes after the instruction. Click the red X to the center of the pupil. Click the Start Test Auto Center to start the testing. View Results 1. Check the validity of results. The test is valid when the validity is displayed in green. 
and the subject shall take another test. 2. Determine the validity of the mapping. When the following conditions appear in the mapping, it indicates that the testing is not performed correctly, and a new test is recommended. Blurred pupil view. The red X on the pupil view is severely scattered. Spectrographic curves drop at the peak, or drop frequently. The waveform is remarkably asymmetric in the green spectrogram. 3. View and print the test report. Click PDF to display the test report. To print the report, click the print when a printer is connected. 4. Retest. Click the Run Test button to enter the test interface. 5. Retrieve test results. Click the Retrieve patient in the main interface to enter the search interface. Information can be retrieved by keywords such as ID, name, group filter, age, testing period, power off in daily operation. Click the exit in the patient menu and then the detector will power off automatically. Wait for the screen to go black for 20 seconds and turn off the power switch on the back of the detector. Shut down operation before transportation. Click the Prepare for Shipping in the Tools menu. Click Yes to confirm and the instrument will be shut down automatically. Wait for the screen to go black for 20 seconds and turn off the power switch on the detector's back. Manually screw in the black shipping screw into the screw hole on the back of the detector to protect the detector from vibration damage during the transportation. Disassemble the instrument and seal the package. Shut down the instrument and set the transportation mode as did in the shutdown operation before transportation. Screw up the black shipping screw. Rotate to remove the touch display screen and its data wire and the Wi-Fi antenna. Put the display, power cord and Wi-Fi antenna into the applicable grooves in the foam lining. Put the foam lining with the above components into the display packaging carton and seal it with tapes. Open the instrument package and put the lower foam lining at the bottom. Then put the instrument into the corresponding foam grooves in the packing box. Place the display carton and the keyboard and mouse assembly at the left side of the instrument and fill the gap with the isolating foam. On the instrument foam, clip the lining in the corresponding groove and reconfirm that all items have been packed in the carton. Seal the package with tapes.